on you guys? It's George and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today you're here for an amazing video. It's a video I've been wanting to do for quite some time. It's a costume video. Not just any type of costume, but we are doing a Titanic inspired costume that I'm extremely pumped to share with you guys. There's a lot of like very basic costumes out there and I have not seen anybody really remake a Titanic costume the way that I'm gonna remake it. So I'm kind of excited to share this with you guys. Hopefully you're interested in seeing what I put together and if you are, then keep on watching. Guys, I have always been a huge fan of the Titanic. And if you've ever seen the amount of memorabilia, souvenirs and stuff that I have on the Titanic, not even just the movie, you'd be like, okay, he's weird. I am weird, but I'm a huge fan of the Titanic. And honestly, I'm a firm believer that in my past life, I was a passenger on the ship. I don't know if it was, it's probably first class, but all jokes aside, I'm like, I'm pretty convinced about that. So don't judge me. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Titanic. So I'm very excited to share this costume idea with you guys. It's gonna be kind of like on the um, third class type of scale, maybe like Jack Dawson's character. That's like what I am inspired by for this costume. So I'm gonna make this quick and simple and easy for you guys. I'm gonna stop rambling on. We're gonna get to the costume and I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what I got piece by piece and we will go from there. Now, first up, we're gonna start with the heart of the costume. That is, the trousers these are just simple gray pants um kind of like a suit type of pants they're very uh, they fit good all right i don't know you don't want to get anything too baggy but you don't want to wear anything like too um modern and like fit to you but these i were actually these are a part of my suit so they look good on me i like it it's halloween i'm gonna wear them next we have the top now the top i was gonna go with something more on the um fitted side, but then I thought, you know, people that were on the third class of the Titanic, um, they were kind of sloppy. I don't know. They were, they didn't have like the most elaborate clothing. They weren't tailored clothing. So I got this right here. This is actually from a thrift shop. I didn't just want to go out and spend money on a brand new white shirt. So it's a little dingy, but it'll do. Okay. It's only for one day, one costume. All right. But, uh, yeah, this is from the gap. It's a two pocketed white shirt. It's kind of on the, the bigger side, if you ask me, but when I tried it on before, it looks pretty good for the costume. So there we have it. This is the shirt, simple, white. You could do it without a pocket. Me, I chose the pockets because it looks cool. So I liked it. Next up, we have the accessories. And in my opinion, the accessories for this costume are pretty much what makes it. It's like those little details that take the costume all the way. So we have a belt here. Just, just This is a simple brown belt. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be using this for the costume, um, simply because I think with the suspenders, which are what I'm going to show you next, are they look kind of better without a belt. So this is optional for me. I'm probably not going to be wearing this. Then we have my choice of suspenders. Now I got these both from H&M years ago. So these have been sitting in like my bin in my closet and I had no idea what to do with these. This is back when like suspenders were kind of cool and, um, I don't know. I don't know what you want to call the look. It's, it was like a very hipster look, if you ask me, but black suspenders, white suspenders with brown, um, whatever you want to call these clasps. I don't freaking know, but I like these suspenders both, but honestly, just because this is white, my shirt's white, the black will be more of a contrast. So I'm going to pick this one. The next accessory here, guys, is a classic bow tie. Now, again, I have a black one. And I also have a gray, which in this case, I'm going to wear the gray bow tie just simply because it's going to match great with the pants. But you can pretty much get any bow tie. I would recommend a solid color one just because back in the day, they weren't really as, they kind of were elaborate, but not anywhere near as elaborate as we are now and like this year. But um, yeah, bow ties here. We're going to go with the, the gray. Again, we got to keep in mind that I am portraying a passenger from the third class. I think it was only one, two, three, three classes. But yeah, I'm, I'm a peasant, all right? Not really, that's, that's horrible. Nobody was a peasant, nobody. But yes, these are the shoe options that I have. These are actually from the Bass and Company um, brands. They are just basic leather little loafers. They have a nice little tassel on the front there. I have it in black. I also have them in brown. Um, these are pretty classic. Um, they're a little worn if you could see on the bottom, but uh, anyway. These are classic. These are very simple. These are um, kind of like a throwback shoe. I feel like these are timeless. So with this whole costume, these are going to be perfect. They're not too fancy. They're not anything that's going to like throw this costume off. So we're going to go with, with one of these. I'm not sure which color yet, but 
they both will work. One of the finishing touches here is going to be a pair of glasses. Now these are from Lingo. I reviewed these on my channel earlier if you want to check out that video. Link will be in the description down below. But these are very, I call them Harry Potter glasses, but in all honesty, these are very just like early 1900s. I don't know, they just remind me of like very old school type glasses. The circular type, I like these. These are gonna go great with this whole like early American, early Victorian, Titanic era, whatever you wanna call that era. This is gonna complete that look. Actually, the final touch in my opinion is not just the glasses, but it's also, you see right there, this is a little dapper hat. This is very Parisian. My grandfather used to call them apple hats. I'm not really too sure what you call these, but it's like a very old school. You've seen people wear these on the Titanic movie. These are classic. I don't know how I still have this, but this is from H&M many years ago. This is, it's pretty crazy that I still actually have this, but works perfect for this costume. I'm doing the hat because I don't really want to do anything fancy with my hair, but a hat is an option for you. Unless if you have cool hair, then you could like slick it back, do it very Jack Dawson-like or very just 1900-like. And yeah, I'm going to throw the hat on because I don't really have that cool of hair to, to style. So that's what I'm going to do. So luckily, hold on to this. I'm ready to get this outfit on though, guys. I want to look like I'm from the Titanic. Let's get this costume going. I'm going to get dressed and um, I'll be right back. <laughs> That is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my take on a Titanic costume for men. For girls, you can wear this too if you want to. You could be one of those butch queens on the Titanic. I'm sure they existed, but yeah. I mean, I made a couple alters to the costume. I ended up changing my straps to the white ones just because with the brown, it actually gave a more old school touch. And um, I ended up wearing the brown shoes because it matched the brown clasps right here. And, like on the back so that's the costume guys i know it's a little on the messy side but i did say this is a third class interpretation so gotta you know live the full fantasy here i feel like the ultimate dapper dan in this costume i i think i should do a target trip and wear this what do you guys think that'd be that'd be hilarious i think people would be like what the shook everything that i mentioned in the video guys is of course optional you can do your own take on this i'm just having fun with it trying to you know be as extra as i possibly can be to look authentic, like a real passenger from the RMS Titanic. But you know, I actually thought of a couple other things that I wish I did for this video. I have an old school newspaper from like the sinking of the ship that I got from the Titanic expedition when it was in Boston. And that would have been cool to hold around, you know, as a part of your costume or another cool idea. And I've seen this on Pinterest, just get like an old, like a sketch pad. It doesn't have to be old, but you want to make sure it doesn't look like I don't know, a Cariola sketchbook and print out a sketch of Rose Dawson when she was being drawn as a French girl. Carry that around or a couple doodles on it. I don't know. But yeah, you can have fun with it, guys. I had fun with this. I'm just, you know, living my best Titanic life here. And that's my costume for 2018. I'm not sure if you guys already seen my one from last year. I did my interpretation on a coven witch from American Horror Story. So that was fun. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully this helped you out with a costume idea. If you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That's much appreciated. It goes a long way. Share this video, share the love. You know the drill, because um, it helps me out. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.